I really used to be a mom that wasn't very present. When I had my first child at 19, my life was very chaotic. I focused a lot of my energy and my efforts into trying to make my marriage work, into trying to manage a drug habit, into trying to keep up appearances to the outside world, into trying to make different characters in my life happy, like my adopted mom and my mother-in-law, my husband, everyone. Um, that I don't remember me being as present of a mom as I am now. And it took a lot of effort, conscious effort for me to get there. In order to make sure I'm spending time with my kids, I literally have to schedule, I have to structure my days. I have to structure my days in a way that I make sure that I'm prioritizing them and me having one-on-one -on -one time. Um, when I am with them, I try to integrate myself into their lives. I have learned how to play video games. I have been introduced to different types of music through them. Um, and with me being a music artist, it keeps me in the know with the new things. Like I'm a 80s baby and I grew up on 80s and 90s hip hop. So my rap style, my the way I choose beats are different. And my son was like, you know, I, I want you to have some more I don't know, spicier beats. I don't know. He did not use those words. I'm so old. But like more up-to-date beats. So getting on their level and starting to value some of the things that they value have, has really helped my relationship with them. Um, from their own mouths, they wanted to spend more time with me. When I was working night shift at my warehouse job, come to find out one of my kids was acting up because he was one stressed out about me not being there and two frustrated about me being in a work environment i worked in a warehouse where i was the only female working there and it was really hard work and it was pretty dangerous i used to work at the coca-cola plant and it was a really strenuous job and i would have to walk home well i would choose to walk home because i didn't want to i i sold my car because of my anxiety i was having anxiety attacks while i was driving so I walked home because it was near where we lived and I wanted to save money. I didn't really want to pay for a lift because I was saving money to go to the studio. You know, I'm trying to invest in myself in the future of my family. And so I wanted to save money so I would walk home and he would be worried and it was causing him stress and then he would argue with his sister and then I would come home and it would be issues and then it would make the dog crazy and it was just like causing this huge problem. And that's when I started to realize that I needed to be more conscious about whether I was spending enough time with my kids and whether it was quality time. Um, a big part of that is them seeing me do, well, participate in activities that are fruitful for us. Like, I can't tell them I want you to read at least 10 minutes a day if they don't see me reading. Like, my big issue is watching too much YouTube. I've had a lot of traumatic things happen to me in a very short span of time, and I believe because I was an addict and I used to use drugs as escapism, now I use other people's stories and other people's lives, i.e. watching YouTube as an escape to not deal with maybe the death of my ex-husband and best friend um, of 20 years. Maybe I don't wanna deal with that. Having to move twice in the past five months because of a mistake I made, maybe I don't wanna deal with that. All of the hurt that I've caused my family because of things that I did in my addiction. Maybe I don't want to deal with that. And so I escape into my own head, into my own room, into my own world. But it's like you have these people here that are literally clones of you that really depend on your input and your time. So moving forward in my life, I just turned 42. I want to mature more as a woman. Birthdays to me, instead of like throwing myself a party I kind of just give thanks that I saw another year and I reflect on the year that I just experienced and kind of not make plans but set the bar farther than the year before for the next year and just see what I want to change in myself because I don't want to be the same version of myself next year so yeah actually set set goals for myself for the woman that I want to be like I literally sit there and visualize how I look how I walk, how I dress, a year from now, five years from now, 10 years from now, what do you want that woman to look like? 
a woman that spends good quality time with her kids on a consistent basis because consistency is my issue and that's why I make sure that I post every day because my bipolar really really makes me an inconsistent person so now that I'm aware of that I have to set a routine and schedule or just have my life and my days and my time structured or I'll just float off into oblivion. I get so distracted. It may sound crazy, but for a while there, maybe a year or two, I forgot that I was even an artist. I was so deep in my addiction. And you lose time when you're high like that. Like, you think five months has, have gone by and it's really five years. It's insane. So I lost a lot of time and I would forget. It's like I would go to sleep and wake up. I was in such a horrible life position and just going through so much and not knowing how to deal with it that I would just forget because I couldn't handle everything. And so along with forgetting the trauma, you forget the good stuff, which is like, hey, you're supposed to be a mom. Hey, you're supposed to be an artist. Hey, you're supposed to be an active child of God, you know, connecting with spirit and cultivating that relationship and so I lost out on a lot of time and I don't want to do that with my kids anymore I wasted a lot of time so moving forward as I grow into this new person I want to make sure that I'm always prioritizing my kids because I'm telling you I could literally just stay locked in a room with a bunch of books and a dead cart and a laptop and never come out like for the rest of my life and that's not what we're about to do thank you so much for joining me for another episode of fury world thank you for every like share and subscribe i appreciate every one of my subscribers and supporters i appreciate you taking this journey of healing with me so thank you and i'll see you in the next video